Hey out there Aquarius, this is Angie with Feisty Butterfly Tarot. Today we're doing a general reading for the beginning of August for you. So we're going to take a look. Remember it's a general reading, so this may not resonate for everyone. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Check your um, other signs if you feel like checking them. And we're going to get going here for you. Okay, we're starting now with what's going on currently for you and what's coming at you. Okay. All right. Okay, let's start here. Currently you have the three of coins. The three of coins is a time where you're growing, there's creativity, there's talents that you have going for you, there's resources that are available, there's patrons. This is a time where teamwork is required to move forward in life, to have those things manifest in a material way, you need to work with your team. There's people that are the planners, people that are the doers, people that are the, um, I guess the funders, people that finance it, those kinds of things. There's benefactors, there's people at work. There is a teamwork energy that needs to be present for you right now that's going on and that's helping. You also have at the same time the hermit card. So although the team is around you and helping you manifest and helping with monies, there's a need for you to look for your own spiritual lessons, for your own inner light, your own inner work. There's a need for solitude. As much as you work together, you need to figure out time by yourself to do some soul work, to look within and see what's really going on, to get that clarity for yourself first. Then you can continue forward. You have the Page of Cups coming. This is an offering of love from people around you. This is a, a learning a time for gifts that are loving gifts and support to be happening for you and around you. It might not be huge and overwhelming, but it is there. So look to the ones that are around you who are your loved ones. And if you need some support during this time, look to them. They can be quite helpful right now. All right, advice. You have the Tree of Life, the Two of Swords, and the King of Cups. We're going to start with the Tree of Life. All right. Tree of Life, old symbol, we see it in tarot decks often. It's the only one actually in the standard tarot where you see the people behind this, this pattern. This pattern of the Tree of Life is one where if you complete everything, then you level up, you have the knowledge. In the tarot, this traditional tarot, like Rider Waite, you'll see it as the inheritance card. This is the gift of earthly inheritance. This is the gift of knowledge that comes to you in earth when you completed lessons and completed a cycle. This is about chakras. This is about spiritual attunement. Um, alignment is the better word. Spiritually in tune, but aligned spiritually. This is about leveling up and letting those around you and the lessons that have been swirling around have a structure that helps you grow. Yeah. Okay, we're going to leave that there for right now. The Two of Swords. This is about having choices and feeling like you don't know which choice to make. You're blindfolded. You can't really see. Your eyes are closed. The blindfold isn't really on that very tight. I mean, a shake of the head and you could see which decision. Or keep your eyes closed and look to the one you know is the better decision. They both might seem equal. It could be head and heart. But you know which one is the one to take and to proceed forward. You actually have to make a choice to use that one. The King of Cups. This is someone, could be a friend or family member, could be a male person, even though it's king here, it could be a female also. But it's somebody that has a very external energy that's loving, supportive, somebody to go to that has good counsel, wisdom, that will help you work your way through some emotional murkiness. There's love and support here too. The difference is, this one has more wisdom about the situation. Maybe he's been through some of a similar thing. Um, this one is very, very supportive, will hear you out and also have good advice. So I, I would turn to this friend. Okay, Aquarius, let's also be looking. This is what's going currently. This is what's now. Let's look for a couple things of advice. Really lightheaded right now. Huh. Okay. What is that? 
Okay, you have the Eight of Coins at odds with the Five of Swords. And I don't usually say at odds. It's not like one. this one's helping you and this one's helping you. But it is at odds, this. This Eight of Coins energy, this leveling up your daily realm, this doing the day in, day out stuff that's consistency. Um, patience. Working with something to level up the talents and the skills. This this daily grind, this day in, day out, might be getting you a little bit. It might be frustrating, but it is what is needed to continue forward, okay? This is a self-discipline card. This is one where you are moving forward. Advancement is happening. You have to really put in the time. Here you have the Five of Swords. You just want to battle and get the hell out of there. You just want to win at any cost. You just want to be done. Whatever it is, you want to be done. So Aquarius, this isn't the right time for just psh, psh, it's not that at all. And if you're having arguments or battles, nobody wins on this one. You win, but you lose. The person walking away from the fight is the one who's winning on this one. So if people are um, provoking you, if people are really having you get in it, or even if your daily realm is where you feel like you're uh, kind of bitchy, cranky, angry, just dial it down a bit this five of swords avoid the fight if you can it doesn't seem that this argument this contention has happened if people in your face on the day to day be more patient be more patient be calm find a way to work together and get the energy you need to get the result you need instead of having a battle where both of you lose yeah what else do you need to know, Aquarius, for the beginning of August? What else do you need to know about for the early start, beginning part of August 2020? We're going to take those two. You have the Palace of Swords and the Wheel. Okay, so you have quite a bit of swords energy going on. We're going to look at this first. The Palace of Swords, this is the environment all around. The Palace is where you reside, where you live, where you dwell. The energy all around you is just mental. Think, 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 think. Too much mental energy. You have these coins going on, you have these cups going on, but you have the palace of swords. So you're being surrounded by all this thinking, all these thoughts. I think, go for the spiritual lesson. Get out of your head, find the time to renew. Get out of this trying to figure out and solve. Take a minute, step back, renew. Then you'll find solutions. The next one, the wheel. The wheel of fortune is when fate is going in a play and you don't even see what's happening. It's where you might make a decision and go down a certain road and it affects your trajectory for a long, long time in your life in a big, big way. The wheel of fortune is also a matter of prioritizing. This is where you would need to get clear to prioritize, not overthink, just get clear, get calm, get still, take some time away. So this daily energy is actually going to be used for your gain, okay? So the wheel is here. Fate is on your side. It's good luck right now. It's really good luck. The tree of life, there's lessons that are being completed. There's endings of cycles that have happened. And reprioritizing and leveling up the learning needs to happen. So you can be aligned. So you can move forward. This is a good, good time. Tricky, but good. I want to look and see if there's anyone else other than this King of Cups, Page of Cups energy who's going to be out there to help you or somebody that reminds you of something. Oh, gosh. Okay. Well, these two are coming at us. I guess I wasn't wasn't there. You have the, five of, or the Six of Coins, the Give and Take card. This is an offering of material help and support, of time and support, of practical support, day in, day out support for the daily realm. Let's go this way so you can see a little more. That's being offered. There's being generous offerings for you on the financial end of things. Things should be looking fairly good. It is a time where it's give and receive, give and take. Balancing has to happen. Then you have the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups, even though there's these offerings of love being around you, before you even get to these numbers in the cup suit, you have to go through this Eight of Cups stage. This walking away from old emotional energy. This is what the hermit needs to do. It might be that there does need to be some rethinking about a situation. Re-evaluating. Recognizing the lessons learned. That you can go forward emotionally 
and leave behind what it is that you don't need anymore. There's a lot of emotional brouhaha around before you take this Eight of Cups journey. Sometimes you see the journey going down like into um, Persephone's cave. This is where you're actually taking the journey to level up, to let those emotions flourish again. You have to move beyond whatever it is you've outgrown, whatever it is you're leaving behind, the loss that you've had, go ahead and let that be, be done. Close that out, let it finish, and let your heart open again for this new adventure. Okay, that's what I've got for you. Fate is on your side. It's time to just emotionally stretch a little and grow, get out of your head a little bit, and realize there's a lot going on around you that wants to help you move forward, to help move this wheel so you have fate on your side, luck on your side, and the ability to expand your life a little bigger. All right, take care. Bye-bye.